Hey, welcome guys to my tutorial to Latin Kid. Um, we're gonna be working on triggers. And this this little video is gonna be how to make a menu, specifically a character selection menu. Um, once again, I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna ask me about how to do this. So we're gonna use this map that we made, and for now we're just gonna get rid of all this junk. You know what? We just and we're just gonna have this right here. Now, first, we're gonna create our zones. You can be whatever. So let's rename that to spawn one. And I suggest learning the hotkeys, like Control C to copy. Um, so highlighting something that the name can be changed and pressing F2 to actually change the name. Without having to right click and look for it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Spawn two. I'm gonna do another one. Let's just go ahead and continuously make others. Right there. So those are going to be our spawning areas. Now we're going to go over to our triggers. We're going to, get, we're going to create a new trigger called character selection. Now we're going to go to events, map initialization, because we want this to open up the second the game turns on. And we're going to go mm, to create an action select dialog create dialog hold on yeah yeah it's create dialog create a model dialog of size whatever size you want you're gonna have to play around with that relative to center of screen there's different things you could choose but for now let's just keep it at center then we're gonna want to save this value like this Dialogue. We want to create a name for it that the game can recognize. The name isn't going to be important to the players because it's it's just not important to them. So we're going to create a new ver new global variable. Var uh, variable. The reason why it has to be global is if you create a variable just in here, only this function can access it. And for example, another function is not able to access those local variables. Um, usually computer programmers are to know this but other people they I'm almost sure they don't know this so the type is going to be dialogue and we're just gonna leave it set as no dialogue then right under here you're gonna create a new action set variable and we're going to set you can see what the source is right here global if you created one in here under local variables it would show local right there so we're gonna actually I'm sorry we're gonna change the name um, car selection menu let's change it to that change that back then we're gonna set the value to function last created dialog so it's going to refer to this as the last created dialog and this is basically going to get the name car selection menu which car is short for character all right so after that let's create a new dialog item dialog create dialog item i'm, I'm sorry not this one i'm going to create a dialog button right here you can go ahead and copy that a few times. Copy and paste it. Create a button for dialogue. This is why variables are useful. You can access it from any any different function or trigger. So I'm gonna reference that with I'm sorry, you know what? 
with dimensions let's put out 150 simply because that's gonna be there actually 125 100 so that'll yeah. fill it in now this one's gonna be top left in the dialogue um, offsets they're basically like fine-tuning the dimensions um, you, you just have to play around with it um, setting the tooltip and what it's gonna say when you highlight uh, let's put select marine with button text and for this what we're gonna do is we're gonna normally you're gonna have just this you're gonna want to press show style controls and show preview even though when you're applying pictures you don't really need the show preview but you're gonna look here you're gonna go and select image browse I'm just gonna search for marine let's go ahead and get that one and we're gonna press insert so there you can see it in the show preview so that's what's going to show up on the button and the hover image set too I usually leave that alone because when you hover over a button it kind of like highlights it and it changes the picture if you set this to a value so we're going to save that no I don't know why I created these let's just go ahead and paste them bless you bless you sorry about that um, we're gonna change this one to morale. Change this. Give it to around. We can probably get Marauder after that. Out of this Marauder. There we go. Um, and we're gonna change that to top right. We're gonna change this. Hmm. Let's choose tank. It's probably not gonna be regular old tank yet. Oh, okay, there we go. Change that to tank. And for this one, everyone's favorite harass. We're gonna give me a second. We're gonna change that to you know it banshees. Everyone's favorite harassment unit. Alright, so after that, you're gonna highlight the first one, select new action, set variable. And before we actually do that, we're going to create a new variable. Alright, sorry about that. I had to pause the video real quick. So I can't remember where I was at, but let's just continue. So we're going to change the name of this variable. This variable is going to hold items. So we're going to change that. Car selection items and I'm going to change this to something you may have noticed dialogue item and we're going to make an array it's hard to explain an array so I'm not going to go through with it but we're going to make an array that's of size 4 that way long story short an array um uh, a tight uh, val oh my god a variable that has an array has multiple values there man wow that was hard so it's gonna be easier to explain when I show you so we're gonna set variable items and you're gonna notice this that's gonna be the array number we're going to leave the first one at zero since this is going to be the first item we're going to leave it at zero because technically speaking the zero is the first item so we're going to change the value 
this last created dialog item and be sure you place it in this order because if you make it right here it's only gonna affect this one right here it's not gonna affect the first one that was made so do it like that so copy paste down paste down paste and you're gonna go to the second one I'm gonna change this number to one two and three so that is why this array has four items one two three four now they're saved all right I'm gonna pause the video real quick just to remember what we have to do all right so I'm back I remember what to do now so first what we're gonna do and just watch this there's no need to do it yourself but what we're going to do is try out the map and before it actually happens know that nothing is wrong that it's the way it's supposed to happen so on game initialization create a model dialogue but where is it well you told the computer to create one you, it's basically saying but you didn't tell me to show it so we're gonna do that we're gonna create a new action go to the dialogue section type in show hide dialogue show hide dialogue we're gonna change hide to show and you can leave it as last created dialogue but if you were to do show last created dialogue you'd have to put it under this dialogue because I mean it's gonna work in this situation that if you put it down here it is gonna show but for the sake of the tutorial just leave it there but what we can do which will make it a lot easier and much more simpler is create a use the variable so you can put it wherever the hell you wanted as long as that trigger was initialized and th then this would show up I mean this would initiate this <laughs> so let's just put it back here and one thing that's very good to do and you should practice is creating comments for instance let's create a comment under that this action button so we do menu skeleton so that it defines this as a skeleton so now we're going to go right here create a new comment under it We'll change this to top left. You can change it to marine or anything that would indicate where it's at. And that way it's easy for you to know where it is. Before we start doing these other ones, you're going to click under here, create a new action, go to the dialog button, show. It's going to be the same thing with the items as the regular dialog. So, show. You can do last created dialogue item. You can go to this and change the value to zero, which is where it's at. Um, in this case, since we're dealing with arrays, it's a little bit more simpler to leave it as last created dialogue item. Um, if you wanted to create it for, like, if you wanted to show buns for certain people, you'd change that to a function or even a variable. Um, which shouldn't be that hard to figure out um, so that's got show last created dialog item so we're going to go into this variable create a comment oops top right copy that paste it under there bottom left bottom right so we're just gonna copy this and paste it paste it paste it all right so now we're gonna try out the map again and this time it doesn't pop up um let me pause the video once again to figure this out real quick all right i'm sorry i figured out what the problem was very simple i'm just gonna go over it even though it might not happen to you but what happened was actions go down in order so it's gonna go like that it's never just gonna pick randomly from the selection until each one is created so it's gonna look at this create a dialogue all right now it's gonna show 
car selection menu but the thing is this variable was created down here so this does not know the value of character selection menu this is where it sets it so we have to bump this up up here that way it goes create the model dialog set that model dialogs name to character selection menu show character selection menu so that's the simple mistake I just did um, I admit it that was simple um, shouldn't have happened here it is but the game doesn't know that when you click it you want to make a marine or a marauder or a siege tank or even a banshee it just you just told it make the buttons and give it a name so this part of the tutorial is now over go to the second part of the tutorial to figure out not figure out but to to learn how to do the second part uh thank you and goodbye